Hey, this is Tony Ross with creativecow.net and this is going to be the third in a series we're doing on little optical illusions or op art. Uh, this one we're going to be using the oval tool. We're going to be using free transform uh, as well as we're going to be using motion tween to do some rotation uh, clockwise and counterclockwise this time. And we're going to be setting things to a movie clip and using blend modes. Of course, we'll also be using the history window. So let's go ahead and get started. This is what we're going to be creating. OK, looks a little complicated, but trust me, it's actually pretty easy. So let's knock this out. OK, the first thing I want to do is uh, go ahead and grab my oval tool and set my fill color to black. And I'm going to hold down my Alt or Option and Shift key and click and drag out there. Not too big this time because I'm going to put two of these on stage. Okay, I'm going to use a quick key to get my selection tool. I'm going to hold down my Command key, Control on PC, and simply click the circle I just created. All right, next I want to copy this Command C. Control C on PC and then paste in place. Command Shift V. Okay, that's Control Shift V on PC. Alright, the next thing I want to do is get my free transform tool. I'm going to move my little transform center a little bit low here. I've got snapping turned on to make this a lot easier. And I'm going to hold down Option and Shift, Alt and Shift on PC, and bring this down a little bit smaller. Okay, and let's change our fill color to white. Okay, now let's go ahead and open up our history window. Come down to other panels, history. Okay, now I'm going to be sneaky here and just select everything. I'm just going to click here and drag out. Okay, so that selects everything. Let's do copy, command C, control C on PC. And let's paste in place, Command Shift V, and that's Control Shift V on PC. I'm going to drag this down a little bit lower. All right, just about here. Uh, this might look familiar if you've actually done the version two of this exercise. Uh, we're going to be pretty much creating the exact same shape, but we're going to do something different with it. Okay, now I want to hold down my Option and Shift key. Alt Shift on PC and drag this down so it's not one, not two, but we're going to create three little rings here. Let go of the mouse, let go of the keyboard. Okay, so we go over to our history and so we did copy, paste in place, set the transformation point and scaled. So let's select copy, hold down our Shift key, come down to scale, and we're going to simply click on replay, replay again. And we're going to do this a couple of times until we get our desired look here. Looks good. Okay, we can go ahead and close out our history window. And I'm going to select all of this. Just click and drag out selection there. And let's convert this to a symbol. F8. And I'm simply going to call this Op Art 03. And hit return. Okay. Now, let's do a few things here. Uh, first and foremost, we set this to a movie clip so we can have some things set here like our blend. I'm going to set the blend mode to difference. Okay. And it's kind of visually, visually already changed there. And the next thing I want to do is copy this. Command C. And I'm going to insert a new layer. And it's this little icon right here to insert a layer. Just going to click on that once. Okay. Now, I'm going to select this frame and I'm going to paste it in place. Command Shift V. Control Shift V on, excuse me, Command. Bleh. Control Shift V on a PC. And next, if you notice, hey, there's nothing here. It's because we have difference turned on. Okay, so 
this is going to be kind of cool looking but we're not done yet so don't get too excited uh, I'm going to hold on my shift key and use my right arrow and we're going to move the sky over a bit well awesome okay it's about exactly where I want it um, I do want both of these guys a little more in the middle of the stage though so I'm gonna select both of these and use my shift key hold it down and use my right arrow left arrow excuse me and there it's about dead center okay now what we're going to do is we're going to spin both of these. One is going to go clockwise, one is going to go counterclockwise. Okay? And we would normally do, let's say, 36 frames to make sure the degrees of rotation are set at 10 degree increments per frame. What I'm going to do, I'm going to slow this down to half that. So, half that means basically I'm going to be using 72 frames, not 36. Yeah, I know I'm not a fan of math either, but trust me, it'll make sense in a second. Okay, so I'm going to select frame 72 on both layers. And the way I'm going to do that is select one layer, hold down my shift key, and select the other one. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to insert a keyframe, F6. Okay, all right, next step any frame in between these guys here I'm going to select both frames holding down my shift key so I can do this with any frame and I'm going to come down and set my motion tween okay now of course nothing's happening but the main thing you want to see this should be highlighted in blue and you should see errors here which means yes you're going to be able to do a motion tween okay I'm going to select the top layer here and come down to our properties and where it says rotate and set to auto let's do clockwise okay and let's set the one on the bottom here we're going to set this to counterclockwise okay now i'm going to scrub back and forth and see what we have happening looks pretty decent now if you remember this from earlier tutorials frame 1 and frame 72 are identical everything else is one frame it's so just one frame there but if frame 1 and frame 72 look exactly alike there's going to be a pause when we do the animation so we're going to eliminate that so I'm going to select frame 71 on both layers hold on my shift key and I want to insert a, another keyframe F6 and the next thing I want to do is select frame 72 on both layers hold on my shift key so I can select both and I'm going to hold down shift again and then press F5 this is going to delete these frames okay now let's test this out command return control enter on PC and there is our little op art you will send me one million dollars and a large five gallon vat of tiramisu sure I could buy my own tiramisu with the one million dollars but I command you um, okay this has been Tony Ross with creativecow.net and uh, just enjoy this it's kinda cool remember make it simple keep it perfect if you don't have time to make it perfect rethink the idea